required over Christmas. It is a pretty good amount, um, and I'm actually, I was more pleased, and I didn't think I was going to get as much tackle that I actually did, but nonetheless, let me show you all the tackle that I got. Okay guys, so here is all of my baits and tackle that I have acquired. And if the picture looks a little bit bent, that's because I set my GoPro field of view to medium so it could get everything because otherwise I, it would have been very hard for me to set it up to where it would have and it wouldn't have been as zoomed in. So to start off, we have these uh, Arashi baits. They are the Arashi Square 5 baits. Um, it has the circuit board lip and the line adjusting, automatic adjusting uh, connection right there, like what it's called. Uh, super sharp cooks. Uh, this is my favorite color, um, just because I like it. And yeah, that's really all there is to it. Uh, it's also four other colors, um, but I'm not going to get close ups on those. You can see them there. Next, we have the uh, DT tens um, by Rapala, of course. Um, here's one of them. And uh, let me just show you one with the special VMC hook that VMC makes. Um, so here's one. And if the hooks would stop moving, you would probably see that uh, that hook is uh, it's way more wider. So let me get a close up on that for you. So you see how big it is compared to the regular round band. Um, and it has that big hook. And some of these DTs have that. I would prefer all of them to have it. But, uh, because really if you're fishing in weeds, it's less likely to get caught up since it's in the back. Um, and then we move on to the DT-16s. Uh, the, the DTs are the bait that I got most of. And I got most of the 16s. So that's a bluegill there. And, I, th yeah. This one, the one I, that I have the special VMC hook on, it's uh, both the same color. So, I'm not sure if they're the same size uh, as that one. Yeah, they're the same size hook for the DD10 and 16. And then here's the biggest one, the DT20. It has a metal weight in the front, it kind of rattles. Um, and it's got blue on top and a white side with the black dot. And uh, it's special because it has both hooks, and they both face opposite to each other. If you can see that there. And uh, the front hook, where my pinky's at, is uh, a bigger hook in general than the back one. As far as I can tell, anyway. So now, let's move on to the cables. Um, I've had these cables today, and I've wanted them for a long time. These are the cables monos, and they pretty much just change sizes, so I can change it from any size I want to fit your head, and that's the cables. So now we have the chatterbaits, um, Z-Man, Lures chatterbaits. Uh, it's pretty much like a jig head, um, but you swim it, and it has the metal piece that chatters. Hooks are very sharp, and you put this bait on, uh, pretty much, I don't even know what this is called, um, because, you know, it's Texas Rigging, Carolina Rigging, so you just take it, uh, you want to find the grooves, the grooves at the top, so if you want the grooves on top like that, you just backtrack, and then just stick it through, and go all the way around the hook, until you get in there, and it's nice, flat, and straight. So, that's pretty much how you rig up one of those. And if you store these, make sure to store these separate because it can mess with the skirt, the chemical can. And this one's just white. So now we we'll move on to the tungsten weights up here. Um, I'll get a close up on each one. So here's the first one's card. I'm not sure if you can read that or not. And here's the weight. It's a one eighth ounce uh, insert free, uh, just tungsten weight. It's like a bullet weight.
This one is a 3 8 ounce uh, tungsten weight. And that's just the card for it. And then the weight. It looks like it has blue specks in it on the weight. And this one's the same weight, it's just uh, watermelon red. So uh, I think I've gone over all of these. Um, I haven't gone over the frogs. These are live target frogs. I think they're three. I don't know what they are. Um, I just know they're live target frogs. And the rubber, it feels really good. And when you stick your finger down, you can actually get your uh, finger caught in that hook and uh, just accidentally. So they're pretty sharp hooks. And yeah, the, the rubber feels much different from uh, river to sea rubber. This rubber is less sticky, um, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, here's the Reaction Strike uh, Poseidon. Poseidon, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, it's pretty much just a bait. Honestly, I don't even know what this is called. Well, I'm a beginner. If you haven't seen my uh, first video, uh, I just did a GoPro unboxing. But I haven't really told you guys uh, that I am a beginner. Um, this is the Reaction Strike Bass Harasser, uh, I think. Yeah. And it's a 7-inch medium fall. So that's pretty nice. So that's all of the baits that I got for Christmas um, I was very pleased because these DTs alone are ten dollars a piece so that was really good um, and that's really all I have to say in this video thanks for watching if you like the video like it and consider subscribing thanks and have a good day Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that if you connect to me through Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, you will be getting the YouTube videos one day earlier because uh, what I'm going to do is make the video unlisted, which pretty much means that uh, only people that have the link can use it, and I'm going to make my uh, social channels locked so you can't see it, and whenever a new video comes out, I will post that link with a picture if it's Instagram on that uh, day and then the next day I'll release it to everyone else but that's just a little perk that you get if you connect with me through the social media and if you want to connect you can connect below or at the end screen of this video have a good day